So I finally figured out what to use these knockoff 57s for. This is the uh, Pyle PD Mic 78. Uh, this actually has a transformer, but transformer in it. But uh, I think this will work with or without the transformer. I know it works on other mics, but check this out. So this is a dynamic mic, right? Think about the Yamaha Subkick. Okay, it's the speaker. We put it in in front of the drum, and we collect the sound. Simple enough. We, we know that a speaker and a dynamic mic are pretty much the same thing. They're just a difference in size. In fact, a ribbon mic is considered a dynamic mic. So we have moving coil and ribbon within the dynamic mic family. Somebody asked me once, does that mean that we have ribbon speakers? And I said, well, yeah, actually, the Atom A7s have ribbon tweeters. So there's really no difference. It'll pass sound. It'll collect sound. So check this out. The next time you need to figure out if a cable is bad or, I don't know, some sort of issue. You're not really sure what's wrong. You just want to check an output. Maybe you don't have a speaker. Maybe you don't have a pair of headphones. Maybe you have an out on your interface. And you're like, yeah, but, you know, I just want to check to make sure that it's working. But in order to do that, I got to plug in headphone, uh, like a headphone amp. And no, just use a microphone like this, right? This is like, what, a $10, $20? I don't, I don't know what it is, right? They're cheap, okay? The less sensitive, the better. So SM7B actually works great for this. But, um, but for this, PD Mic 78. Check this out. So I got it plugged in to output three. Let's say that, you know, I have, uh, you know, I have my vocal track here for whatever reason. I cannot get my compressor to to work. I don't know if it's the the cable from the interface to the patch bay. I don't know if it's the patch cable. I don't know if it's the cable from the patch bay to the compressor. But there's an issue somewhere along my signal chain. I, did, I don't know where. So I'm going to troubleshoot. I'm going to go along the line. And I'll be able to listen in at different points of my signal because it's line level. I'll be able to listen in on different points of my signal and see if I can hear it. So check this out. I have a vocal track here. I'm gonna, gonna send it to an out, right? I'll put three. Then what I do is I get one of these cables, which is a female XOR, two quarter inch. Plug in. To the output of your interface. So now the output is going directly to this right here. So check this out. I'll solo it. Yeah, you see? Totally works. So let's... Um... Cool. Um, I don't know what else to do, but let's say, oh, okay. Let's, let's take it a step further. Let's, let's take, um, let's do like a, a plugin, uh, like not a plugin, but like an insert. Um, let's go for, how about a, let's say that we have a compressor. And it's like, uh-oh, I'm not getting a return signal on it. Like, what the heck's going on, you know? Like, what's wrong? Well, I got to troubleshoot this now. So without actually telling you the answer, because I, I just fixed the answer, but let's pretend like we got to troubleshoot this, right? So we don't have a signal. Well, we could listen to the output directly from the interface and see if it's at least making it that far. Let's take, um, let's put this vocal track back in the proper routing here. All the way wet. Okay. So 
we know we don't have a signal. We don't know if it's the cable here, the cable there, whatever. But we're sending out of six and back into six and it's just not working. So what we could do is go out of six. We can listen to the out of six. Okay. So we have it there. We have the signal at least that far. Then what we could do is we could have it on the output of the compressor at this point and see if it's going that far. And if we have the signal here, then we know it's something wrong with our cabling from the patch bay to the input of our interface. So at least it narrows down the options here. Let's see if we get any signal here. Whoa. Uh, let's see, how do I get it? Oh, right, okay. Okay, so it's actually splitting the signal. I'm gonna get it in the mic at the same time. So I'm gonna occupy the bottom jack, okay. That's pretty cool. We actually could hear what the compressor is doing. Like I actually could somewhat dial this in if I had to. You'll never know while I'm eating crumbs you threw on the floor. All buttons in. I'm not the same for you used to adore. You look nervous, but Yeah, so now we can hear that that's the output of the compressor being played through this as a speaker. So we should get everything back into the DAW. And if we don't, we know that it's this cable that goes from the patch bay to the interface. Baby, I'm sure, I'm sure that this is true. I dreamt of you, I dreamt of you. Isn't that sick? I mean, that is so great. You know, I don't know what the practical application for this would be. I mean, other than like, you know, helping a grandmother hear like a church sermon in the audience, you know, like it's pretty much just like a little tweeter that like somebody can hold up to their ear. So I don't know what else he'd use this for. Okay. I've actually always wanted to prank somebody, you know, they go up to a mic and you use this to like hook up a talk back through, but I had no idea that it would actually work this well, you know, to the point where it's loud enough to hear it. It doesn't really distort the mic too bad. It, it actually works, okay? So this is pretty cool. Um, this is great for, you know, troubleshooting different sounds. If you're not getting a signal into your DAW, here's another one, is, you know, you could do your preamp output. So you know that you have your preamp on, maybe you don't have a meter on your preamp, and you don't understand why you're not seeing the signal in your DAW. Well. You know, you can always plug this in and you would need a female to female XLR cable to do it because the female would plug into the output of the preamp and then the female on this end would plug into this. So it would need a kind of a special cable to do it, but you could make sure that at least your preamp is working and you could verify that the microphone signal to the preamp is good. Then from there, Okay, we know it's not the preamp. Again, maybe you don't have a meter on your preamp or a signal light or whatever. So then it can help you troubleshoot. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I just think this is kind of hilarious, kind of cool, okay? Um, I love stuff like this, you know? Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of this tip. Really cool tip for you know live sound guys if they just need to check a line. I wouldn't do it to speaker level signal though. Um, this is just line level, okay? Line level signal and it's enough to play it through, uh, you know, a cheap old knockoff SM57. Okay, I'll see you guys.